this has been again discussed during the, the two days and I would say both. Um, the, the opinion is that um, the, the private sector should not wait for the public sector to come on board before it acts. And there, are, there were great examples of leadership that have been exercised by the private sector and should be exercised by the private sector. There is a much more potential for creativity, for listening to customers, for making those right decisions that Toyota made and some others did not, um, that are within the private sector and that, uh, uh, that relay in a way that are within the capacity of some of the leaders of the private sectors. But that is not enough. And there was also a consensus, I think, among those two days to say, well, then the public sector has also to come on board and set, set up the right incentive structures to scale up those innovation, whatever they have and whatever, um, in whatever field. And um, I think there, were, there is also a consensus on the fact that um, major, there is a need to, to really um, change entirely um, the way the environment de definitely is internalized into the different uh, prices and uh, into the, um, uh, the, the different public policies. That was clearly also said. So I would say definitely both. And the government uh, has a clear role to play in, first of all, setting up long-term standards and setting up long-term goals, reducing the volatility. We're talking, we've, we've been talking about the price volatility, for instance, of oil in, uh, over the recent months. This is a factor of insecurity for business, and it's, it, it distracts from uh, innovation, if you wish, because you don't know where, where you end up in six months' time. And the public sector can play a role here through taxes and different other schemes in trying to have a kind of level, uh, st stabilized level uh, for those prices. So these are a few examples of what the, the public sector can do uh, apart from massive uh, stimulus packages that are more turned towards a green economy.